stories is how did all the Liverpool groups like the Beatles get hold of all these American songs because that's what they were performing in the early days you know things like you know Chuck Berry Little Richard all these performances how were they getting them and the story in Liverpool was always what was called uh, the Cunard Yanks which was Cunard shipping line um, had a headquarters and still does in Liverpool and so many of the families had a dad, an uncle, a brother, whoever, at sea. And so the story was that these Liverpool sailors would go across to New York, they go to the record stores, bring back all these records, and that's how they got them. But the more digging I've done on that, um, from a new book, The Fab 104, I found that that is just a myth. Mm. That is not how they got the records. How they got the records was through Radio Luxembourg. Now, Radio Luxembourg was the only record station, only radio station in Liverpool and in, and in the UK where you could hear pop music. Because the BBC was the only radio service at the time and they would not play anything apart from classical or traditional music. And so this little, um, little country Luxembourg in Europe would do these shows and beam them across into uh, the UK. But what I found out was all the record labels like Decca, EMI, Parlophone, London American, they sponsored the shows on Radio Luxembourg. So they would have the DJs, um, which included Alan Freed, had one of his shows syndicated on it. And they would say, here's the latest songs in America but you can buy them in, in the shops next week. And so they were promoting the songs on Radio Luxembourg. The lads like, or, or the quarrymen, you know, John and all their mates would listen to Radio Luxembourg. And then if they had the money, they would then go to the record store. And there were lots of them around Liverpool. And if they didn't have it then, within a week, they'd have it ordered. So they could get all these American songs. So all of the songs that the bands in Liverpool were playing were from records bought in Liverpool. This whole story of the Cunard Yanks is a myth.